Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little dealer of a video on buying a GPU. And of course, you guys are gonna come back and say, why are you doing this? Why aren't you just buying more hard drives to farm Chia? Because unfortunately, you cannot crack passwords, whether it's brute force or dictionary attacks with hard drives. This is the reason why I'm looking into buying a GPU. Even though I have a bunch of them sitting behind me right now, eight specifically 6600 XTs, and I also have a 1660 Super that's running to the left of me. But why am I even considering GPUs? Again, this is a feeler video. Maybe I'll start a new channel, or maybe I'll just change a little small direction of this channel into something I'm really interested in right now, and I want to talk about it more. So let me show you guys what I mean. So so this is a list of GPUs currently. This is just one output of a GPU benchmark for Hashcat benchmarking. Now, if you guys don't know what Hashcat is, you can probably Google that. And if you do, you're going to come across a whole bunch of videos on how to use Hashcat for cracking passwords, dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, Wi-Fi password cracking, and all that other good stuff because it's just intriguing. To be really honest with the technology that we have today, this it makes it so so easy to do look at all these videos although every video here is going to claim that they're ethical and they're doing it for like a good cause so you understand it and you protect yourself but unfortunately the same people who are watching it and who are not ethical can use it just for equally evil things learning this all right from all these videos and that's one thing that always caught me off guard was like you know this is a warning you can't do this uh, it's illegal if you do you it, you can get into a lot of trouble by doing this illegally meaning you break into or cracking your neighbor's passwords or you know your ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend or whatever it is all right i'm looking at the gpus here and obviously this one only goes up to 3090 uh 4090s and 4080s just released like sometime recently so it's not going to be part of this list in november 2022 it just it just basically finished so this hash per second is the numbers that are generating per card so like i said earlier i have a 1660 super right here the one thing i'm noticing is that it all uses nvidia like i don't see anything for amd cards so my 6600 xts I, I don't know where that even falls or if it's even capable so i have to look into that a little bit more uh so there is someone that actually did a hash per second uh, a test so benchmark of a 4090 which is right here he actually posted it up on uh, github and you can see the details of it so the 4090 getting a better understanding of this speed one 164 giga hash i ran this benchmark myself on my ryzen 7 uh, I think it's a Ryzen 7 3600 or something like that with the 1660 Super. Obviously, I did not even get close to these numbers. And I'm going to show you guys in a little bit on mine. So let me just scroll all the way to the bottom because this is pretty lengthy. So it, it just goes through the entire different hashes that it just kind of benchmarks with the GPU. And of course, when you do all this, you can actually include multiple GPUs. So you can have a whole cluster of GPUs cracking out a password constantly. So let me go back back to what I was saying about Hashcat. So if you don't know what Hashcat is, even though I just showed you the, the YouTube explanation of how to crack passwords, Hashcat can run on Linux or Windows and I'm not too sure if it runs on Mac. I, I don't even have a reason to do that. And one thing I did learn about Hashcat is that you should not, or you probably shouldn't use it on a, on a VM because on the VM, you're not going to be able to utilize the GPU itself when trying to crack a password, whether it's brute force or using a dictionary because it just has to computate and it has to go through the whole cycle of it. A VM is probably not going to be able to utilize your 100% of your GPU. So that's one thing that I did learn. So the Hashcat has the ability to do that, right? It has the ability to do a dictionary attack and or a brute force. Now, of course, if you do a brute force, it'll take forever, right? Depending on the length of the password, different variables, meaning the different uppercase, lowercase, special characters, numbers, alphanumeric, whatever it is, right? But then you also have the option of doing this, rock you text. The rock you text is actually, I learned by watching all these different videos is that it's 
And this is this is just baby steps for me. Baby steps so I can relay that information back to you because the more I explain it, the more I understand it. And it educates myself as I'm educating you. So if that makes any sense. So Rock You is one of the most popular text files for dictionary words, password list that you can use to do this, to incorporate into your hashtag password cracking. And the reason why Rock You, and if I could remember correctly, it was a vulnerability ability or rock you was a company that was list that had all their user accounts and passwords in clear text in plain text and ever since then that list became the name itself became popular and that's how this became a thing where rock you is a text file of all these generic or unique passwords that people would use now i want to go over the fact that i am currently downloading the rock you 2021 list and it's about nine gigs can you imagine a text file that's nine gigs it has that many letters numbers words phrases for password cracker all right so that's pretty much why i'm downloading it so i did a benchmark on a 1660 super you can see like the the hash rate is nothing compared to like the the 4090 right it's really low in comparison and it's a 1660 i mean if the password is easy to crack then of course you know it'll, it'll find it in no time but unfortunately we don't know what the passwords are i mean i could test on my own lab environment where i can crack my own password uh, or see how long it would take or even if my password is in a dictionary file where if i can mimic it where i am like pretending to be a hacker from the outside and i got my hash and i'm trying to crack the password now with the dictionary file which is the rock you file and if it's in there i'm screwed right well i would hope that my password for my wi-fi or whatever it is is strong enough meaning it's long enough it has enough characters of different variations variables whatever it is my whole point was i came on here looking for gpus and of course it's best buy you could go anywhere you know i'm looking i'm not sure what i want to get i was looking at like maybe 3090s 4090s really expensive 4080s very expensive 3090 non-ti's or 3080 ti's and let's just see the results right should i even consider them consi like you know consider looking into them even though i have a benchmark of here these are the different benchmarks i mean these are not low numbers these numbers are pretty damn impressive all right uh as i'm speaking my my uh rock you file of nine terabytes no not nine, nine gigabytes nine gigabytes uh just completed let me just see right now uh, no actually the file itself the torrent was 12.7 gigabytes all right and that is, that is a decent amount of words in in a in a file that is insane right i'm gonna just show you guys i'm gonna extract it over here so this is it uh my goodness if i come over here and let me just show you am i on the wrong page i'm on the wrong page all right here right here this is the rock you 2021 this is a text file and uh I'm, I'm even scared to extract it right now all right let me just extract it Hopefully it won't take too long for a damn 12 gig file. Uh, Processing all files in the current directory. It's only one file, one text file. That thing is huge, so it's extracting right now. I'll let that be. 4080 is 1000, it's actually in stock. I can actually get my hands on this if I really wanted to right now, but I really have to justify, do I want to spend that kind of money on a, just so I can practice cracking my own passwords? or potentially cracking other people's passwords it's such an addicting freaking dopamine i swear this is this is so addicting why am i buying gpus in 2022 unfortunately it's not even it's not even for mining although i can probably use it for mining at a later time if i choose to when i'm not password cracking but to be really honest how many times would i'll be you know cracking a password it's more like i'll be testing constantly just playing around with it and just to see because the 4090s or the 
4080s are so capable or even the 3090s ti uh is so capable of you know producing these hash rates in, in such quick repetitive sessions that i may pick one of those up or even uh, i'll look for a used one if anything and then um try to just practice on this whole hash cat with gpus because uh it's been a thing it's been a thing for many years people using gpus for uh, cracking passwords for a long time but i'm, I'm more curious now like getting a 4090 to crack passwords i think that's that's just interesting so guys let me know in the comments below if this actually interests you i may end up getting more subscribers from a different breed of people looking into hashcat and gpu password cracking opposed to me talking about chia or crypto mining although i'm still mining my uh me right here i'm still mining meal coin let me show you guys really quick my meal coin uh and my chia my chia is still going at it look right here right here is my meal coin i got eighty-five thousand coins all right guys i want to thank you guys for being here please remember to hit that like comment subscribe let me know if there's something that interests you if not then i'll probably create a new channel and start talking about it i want to thank you guys for being here and i'll see you again soon bye